Hi. Hello. Today I'm going to be talking about my top five favorite BO manwas. I made a list of five to recommend to you guys. It's going to go from like five, four, three, two, one, you know, countdown. Okay, my number five spot goes to For You Who Grieves. Now I just finished or caught up with this one. Um, it's similar to if you've ever read At the End of the Road. It's that similar concept of like a guy dying and then being thrown into another person's body and then falling in love with someone who knew the knew them before, basically. I love At the End of the Road too, but I feel like For You Who Grieves is a bit easier to digest than At the End of the Road. Uh, it's more like simple and I, I don't know how to explain it. I don't mean that the other one's like complicated. I mean, I think it's more like, it's a more in-depth story and this one's more, not surface level, but it just is easier to digest. Number four, My Darling Logged On. I just read this one too, so maybe it's recency bias. This one, and also there's a manual called Net Comma Punch. They're very similar. They're like a gay version of Love Story with Yamada Kun at level 999. Basically, people meet in games, and in both of these, one of the guys is pretending to be a girl, and which is called the Net Comma, I think. And then they fall in love, well, not like they don't fall in love, but the other guy falls in love with the female character and then finds out it's a guy and it's a whole thing. I like My Darling Logged On a little bit more than that comma punch just based on the interactions or like the dynamic between the two main characters. If you like Yamadakun at level 999 or whatever, you would like this. Or if you like Yamadakun at level 999 and you like gay things, you will like this. Number three, Boy Girlfriend. Boy Girlfriend is the story of a guy and his friend and the friend pretends to be like his girlfriend so that he can impress his crush and then they fall in love. I didn't think I was gonna like this webtoon as much as I do, but it's really good and I highly suggest it. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but it's a really good memoir. I love it. Number two, Don't Say You Love Me. This story is similar to I Wanna Hear Your Confession where it's like a time travel thing and one guy dies and then the other one goes back in time to save them. Don't Say You Love Me is I love the art I love the story it's the time travel memoir I didn't know I needed and I st it was it's chef's kiss you know I want to hear your confession is a similar plot but again it feels less it's not as easy to digest as don't say you love me so I highly suggest don't say you love me and then now we're moving on to number one, which is my favorite manhwa overall like ever favorite manga favorite manhwa whatever you want to say kiss the abyss Kiss the Abyss is like a gay isekai where a guy writes this death game story and then he ends up falling into the death game story and falling in love with the main character that he wrote. It just every little bit, it's like, it's in depth. There's a lot of story there and it's not just through the death game. There's like other, I'm not going to spoil that. There's more than just like a death game, basically. I don't want to spoil anything, but I just want to say like there's a lot of little intricacies that all line up together so well and I love it so much. Also the names are easy to remember, it's Prince and Abyss. And also the art is so good. Like I can't think of a negative thing about this manoir. It's just so good. I read it all in like a night. It's completed. So you can all you can also go read it in a night, just like I did. Anyways. That's my list of memoirs you should read. Let me know other memoirs in the comments because I need suggestions. Also, this list didn't include Maudeo Zushi or Heaven's Official Blessing because I haven't finished those or caught up with those um, memoirs. I've watched the animes, but I haven't caught up with the story. So I just, I feel like they'd belong in something that's more just like, like an anime list that I may make eventually an anime BL list that I may make eventually. All right, I'm gonna get going. Oh, so I didn't add Mao Deo Zushi or Heaven's Official Blessing to this list because I feel like I'm gonna end up using them in an anime list I may make of BLs. Also, I wanted these to be a little bit more niche. Some of them probably aren't niche, but I just wanted it to be a little bit more of like a, not like a really popular BL like those two are. Like those are popular, I see it everywhere. Some of these I don't see as often, so I thought, I'd suggest the less common ones. All right, bye. I will see you next week. Comment, like, subscribe.